Hey there, welcome back. In this small video, I want to show you how you can easily do requests via a proxy server with the request promise library. I've also done another how to video on how to do this with Puppeteer, but that is a bit later on. So first of all, why would you want to use a proxy server? That really depends on the website that you are scraping and how big the scraper that you are building is. If you are just getting started, I would highly suggest not to use proxy servers unless your project demands this. It can be that the website that you want to scrape is not accessible in your country, or that you want to do multiple requests and swap between proxies so that your actual IP from where the scraping comes from is not directly visible. It can be a multiple of reasons. But either way, I'm going to show this so that you're getting familiar with it and you know that down the road, you can do it if you need to. All right, enough with the talking, let's get right into the code. Here I have a simple request promise setup with a very simple request to this URL. This is basically going to return my IP. So let me show you how it works. It's going to return a JSON object with my IP. So I'm going to open up the debug console and I'm going to write here response so that I can see what's returned. Here you're going to see my IP. Actually, I'm going to blur it out so that you don't see my IP, but you get the point. I'm going to show you how you can do this via a proxy. So expect this IP to be different the next time. Okay, so let me show you how you can easily configure request promise library to work with a proxy server. So here's what you want to do. You want to write dot defaults. And right here, you're going to have a JSON object specifying proxy. And here you want to give the actual proxy. And it's going to take the following format, HTTP, and then you're going to want to add the user, and then the password, and then at the IP and then the port. Of course, this can differ from uh, proxy to proxy because in my case, I'm going to show you we are going to only use this value. And also, I'd like to point out that as you can see, we are replacing the default values for this entire variable that we are requiring a request promise and that is because you don't want all the time to specify proxy and then blah 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 the same and over and over again for each request that you want to do if you were to have five requests you don't want to specify the proxy for all of them every time so this is why we are setting up a default proxy server okay right now let me actually give it a test with an actual IP and a proxy server. So right here, I'm going to remove these because we don't have authentication for this proxy server. And I'm going to add it right now, paste in the IP and then paste in the port. This should be it. And now let's try it out, see if it works. So it stopped in the debugger. We can now check out the response. I'm going to write here response, hit enter. And as you can see, the IP is the same as the one that we just put up there. This means the actual request was sent through this proxy server. And that is basically it. You can implement this very easily. If you have a stable proxy server and you need to use it, you can definitely do so. And I will also leave the actual file with the format that you want to follow, which is this HTTP username, password, at IP, and then the port. And you can replace those with whatever details you have. So this is basically it. Thank you for watching. I know this was a short video, but it was straight to the point and I wanted to do it because a lot of people want to know about proxies and how to use them. So here it is. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.